The Audi A6, this car has a lot of endearing qualities and it also has some attributes which I'm not all that keen on. The first thing I'm going to pick up on is the steering. Although the steering is very certain and positive and in some ways quite heavy, it does however not allow you to connect with the road and when you're driving the vehicle what you're aware of is the transportation and the mechanisms between the steering wheel and the tires but not the actual feel for the road at all at 60 miles an hour this car, I think if you're going to get one of these cars basically what I go for if you're going for this particular model is I go for a manual because the automatic gearbox doesn't complement this vehicle at all there's a nasty nasty lag from the throttle and that can be a bit dicey at times if you're pulling away from a roundabout say I'm a roundabout now and I want to go quickly <laughs> it's just not going anywhere so I'd bear that in mind the suspension on this is lovely very very certain very very sure it's not wobbling around at all it's very firm very solid quite sporty like I would feel very confident that I could nip in and out of lanes on a motorway and be quite enthusiastic around corners and do emergency swerves in this if I needed to and it's a vehicle I'd feel quite comfortable having a blowout in there's no bouncing around no boating the driving position is extremely comfortable the instrument cluster here um, is generally highly visible. I don't think there's any problems here with obstruction from the steering wheel. The center console, very easy to operate, no confusing buttons, everything simple and minimalistic. The wing mirrors are huge and I like that in a car because it basically gives you a lot more vision. The rear view vision, a lot of it is obstructed by the rear seats, headrests of the rear seats, but not to the point that it's going to be a problem. I've tried it in sport mode and it doesn't seem to really make a lot of difference to the lag on the throttle which is a bit depressing. It's certainly a very solid car this, but you know today I'm driving this car and you know if you're a little bit enthusiastic with the throttle the, the front wheels are sliding all over the place not to the extent that maybe a uh, hatchback would be but you know you are aware of the fact that it's a front wheel drive and to be honest when you're driving around a car in the wet and you you can feel the slipping going on all the time it becomes to, it begins to be a bit in the wet they're all over the place but do you really want to be using the same wheels that you use for steering as for accelerating and for the engine i don't think so now the ride quality, it's hard but it's comfortable, it does feel very secure and certain this car. Dashboard, nice quality, nothing cheap and tacky about this at all. It does feel like it's well put together, in fact the Audis nowadays they are just such nice cars, it's incredible. You're certainly going to get a lot of car for your money here. If you're thinking about buying one of these, um, personally I would really go for a bigger engine in this vehicle. I th personally think this particular car has an undersized engine and undersized engines can be a pain because you've got to drive them differently. This is a big car and I think if you're going to drive a big car it's nice to have something powerful and torquey like a, a 3 litre diesel or 2.5 petrol upwards, preferably a manual it just doesn't seem to um, work with affinity with the vehicle it kind of feels like um, it's like this is a big boat but it's got a small outboard on the back the interior of this car is actually quite beautiful it's and also well. a quattro is going to be better than just a front wheel drive driving this in the wet enthusiastically it doesn't really seem to sort of uh, pan out much at all but you know these are niggly little things this may be just my own personal um, my own personal taste influencing the review which is probably not so good at the end of the day these vehicles are exceptionally well put together they're very attractive vehicles 
and if you get the right combination, the right balance with the right engine, the right gearbox, you're going to have a very good vehicle. But if you're not a fan of front wheel drives, then stay away from these. Go for the four wheel drive because front wheel drive, to be quite honest, it sucks.